Well, you know, some people inspire without even trying. Yeah, there is a Rutherford County middle schooler who amazes people every day by simply living life to the fullest. News 13's John Lee joins us for a special report. John, the constant stares just don't even slow him down, do they? His example gives us a lot to look at, accepting who he is and finding the formula to overcome anything. All right, he's got a formula for me. Going to school helps us figure things out. We jot it down on paper. Think about real life application. Sometimes Connor Stroud refers to his textbook. Force equals mass times acceleration. As we get older, the questions get tougher. They need to figure out how much force it's going to take to make a car move. There comes a point when students think way beyond these walls. Outside of seventh grade science class, in the real world. Out here, Connor has a formula all his own. I just try to walk out of the little Spain. If this were the only thing he did all day, it'd be enough to impress us. Teacher Katie Strug says it's a stunning trek across campus each day. He's extraordinary. It's not too far. He has a drive. He has the heart of a lion. His whole life seems like an uphill climb. After all, when he was younger, doctors weren't even sure Connor would be able to walk. After school, Connor commutes, taking a bus to the place he feels most at home. Yeah, I like doing stuff that people don't think I can do. At three feet tall, he's about as tall as the next. I can't get really that much top spin, but like I just try to hit it hard. <laughs> no matter where he plays. They're just like so amazed. I, I guess they just haven't seen it before and they're just like, they just don't know what to think. And he loves it probably more than any kid we've ever hit with. His tennis coach is his mom. He just has his lower leg, no hip joint and no femurs. So it's very difficult even for him to walk. And then this is like a squishy or like thing at the bottom and I just like walk on that. Connor moves around on what he calls stubbies. I saw it. Still not comfortable with prosthetic legs. Well, it makes me slower and stuff. And But I wear them when I go to like Disney World and stuff to get on rides. <laughs> See, I'm taller so I get to go on rides. But away from Space Mountain, he is always the center of attention. Everybody will remember you. Second, so more than the best player. Because, I mean, he's just different. Connor doesn't just compete. <laughs> he wins tournaments, too. It feels really good. It's better than losing. I mean, we all have a disability. It's, it's usually on the inside or a chip on your shoulder or, you know, something. Most people's disability you just can't see. In a way, he was born to play. Dad Dewey was a former Clemson tennis star. I'm very proud of him, of course, but he, I'm uh, just happy for him that he enjoys doing that. Chuchina. Doctors say Connor exerts three times as much energy than his opponents. Nice shot. Which makes him think. I guess I could be a role model. Now back in school, he's not really trying to set an example. Like everyone else, just trying to find his way. Owning the formula for success that's unique to him. Let's figure it out. I don't want to be like anybody else. I'm just happy the way I am. And Connor says he'll eventually focus on competing in wheelchair tennis. Uh, remarkable no matter how he plays.